Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're gonna check out Agbalto. Now getting this one does require a bit of fiddle farting, but luckily it is not too bad. You need to start off by getting yourself a pair of Latos, which you can simply get for credits from the market. Then you need to get yourself a pair of Balto blueprints, which we will use to turn the Latos into Baltos with the addition of some extra resources. And finally we will need to get the Agbalto blueprint, which you also get from the market, which combines the two Baltos with an Arogan cell and 20,000 credits to create the Agbolto. The Agbolto are a pair of secondary bolt pistols that have decent crit stats, very low status, a long reload and they do almost pure puncture damage with just a little bit of impact on the side. Now one thing to bear in mind with this is that the bolts you fire do have travel time so you have to lead the target which makes hitting headshots especially at medium to long ranges much more difficult than with a hit scan weapon. The bolts fired from the Agbolto are fairly fast though so it's not a massive issue, it's just something to bear in mind if you don't like non hit scan weapons. When it comes to the build on the Agbolto, it is going to be pretty expensive because you want to go for pure crit and even a non-primed version of the crit build does require 4 forma. This is actually one of the very few weapons where I didn't invest the extra forma to go for a primed crit build instead, mainly because the weapon has two other variants and they are simply better. So putting 6 or even 7 forma on a weapon that simply has a better version out there didn't feel like a good use of forma to me. Now this pure crit build will comfortably carry you up to level 60, 70, maybe 80 if you're really good at hitting headshots. Then unfortunately Unfortunately, you will run into a brick wall and the damage on the weapon falls off pretty fast. It's the standard pure crit build problem where the damage is great until it isn't. And I know that sounds like a yeah well duh thing to say but it's true, crit weapons perform really well at lower levels but they fall off really really fast once the enemies get beefier. The damage distribution on the weapon also makes it unideal versus shielded targets because punching through some of the beefier unit's shields, especially if there are things like ospreys around that can replenish their shields, can take a while. And finally, the reload is also not great, 2.6 seconds, yeah that kind of hurts my soul a little bit. But by far the biggest, let's just call it an issue with the weapon is that, as I've mentioned already, there are two other versions of it and they are both better. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you can't get the other two versions and you like the look of it. However, there is one really really amazing thing about the Agbolto and I think a lot of people either don't know about it or they simply choose to ignore it because it's far too powerful and that's the fact that you can use them to recreate the intro to the Terminator theme song. They even have the right amount of rounds in the magazine. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I really hope you have enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.